how are we all doing? It is good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. And this video is just a quick video to show you how I would do the post production on e commerce um, items. So, this is basically just a lay flat t shirt. Um, the way we've set it up is we've got a soft box set just over this area here, firing into the item of clothing. And the reason we've done that is because they wanted to show some shadow and details in the creases just to make it look a bit more textured and real as opposed to just sort of like flat and no depth to it. So, what what we've done is I've used a softbox with a grid uh, in order to be able to create some shadows and some detail on the item which you can see here it's laid on a white background but what we need to do is extract this t-shirt from the white background even though it's white you can still see it's not it's not brilliant white so what we need to do is we need to extract it so it's on a background similar to this and what that would give us the ability to do is for an e-commerce company they can take those images and they can use them for their website so i've exported in a jpeg which will do it with a, a a white background and also a png so this will just show you the difference between the two files quickly so if i move those quickly you can see here the top one is the JPEG and that has the white background, which is great if you want to use it for your website and use the whole white box. I personally know that the e-commerce site want to use it like this. So they just basically want a t-shirt on its own that they can stick anywhere on their website and is easy to manipulate and use for whatever purposes they may have. You know, if they want to do whatever they want with it, they can do whatever they can. So I need to prepare the image so it's ready to do just that. And the way I do that very simply is you've got the image here. What you can do initially is these have been shot in Capture One and I've adjusted them in Capture One um, and then moved them into Photoshop. If you wanted to do some adjustments on the clothing, so you just bring this back into here, use Command Shift and push A and that will bring you up into Camera Raw. And Camera Raw is just a great way to adjust things so it's right. Like I know that's not right. I'm happy with how the t-shirt looks. I just know I need to extract the t-shirt from the background. So this is a great way to adjust in Photoshop. If you use the Lightroom, it's a really simple way to adjust. So we're manipulating JPEGs. Ideally you want to be manipulating RAWs because then you've got all that detail. So the first step in this process is you can use the quick select tool to select the whole of the t-shirt. Well, actually, the first step would be to just touch it up. Like you will find as much as you use a lint roll and stuff like that to get rid of it, you will find articles all over your t-shirt, either from the item of clothing itself or from on your sensor or God knows what. So you'll need to do some tidying up. Once you've done that, once the tidying up is done, let's just put that back to where it was. Um, once that's done, you need to extract the t-shirt. Now you can use quick select and basically you can select the whole of the t-shirt. The problem I find with this, if I'm completely honest, is sometimes in these shaded areas, it doesn't actually get it right. So you can see here the difference between the t-shirt and the shade, it can't differentiate that. So here I've got shade, here I don't have shade, and it just pulls it out in a way that I'm not 100% comfortable with handing over to the client. It's done well along this top line, but just all over is not ideal. So what I would tend to do is it is way more, way more, way more painstaking, is use the pen tool. And the pen tool gives you a great way. So you see here, every time you see a slight difference in surface level, you then use the pen tool to click. And I always click a little bit inside the clothing. And the reason being is when it does pull it out, you won't get any of the white. So like if you do it too close to the line, you might get a bit of the gray, a bit of the white, a bit of the item of clothing. So this, as you can imagine, will take a fair amount of time to do on each item of clothing. But what is great here is as you reach points like this, where there is, it's real tricky because there's a movement in the material, this will allow you for a more natural look when you extract it. And that is gonna give you a better finished product when you hand over to your client. And that's what it's all about. You know, If you wanna be shooting e-commerce, it needs to be just handing over like the best possible version of that image you can get. And the quick select tool, I personally find just doesn't um, doesn't do it. So bear with me. I'm just going to do the rest of this, and then I'll show you what comes next. The thing with using this technique is yes, it takes forever, but as you see, each one of these dots, where these dots align, the more of these they are, 
the more of a natural cutout you will have. If there are big gaps between these dots, it's just a very straight long line. If you basically have these dots and they're a lot closer connected like they are now, you will find you have a more natural curvature. Um, because we're working digital, as you will see, everything in digital is basically in little squares. And so if we zoom into like a pixel view, let me just come back out. You can see here, you're basically working to squares. And the more of these little dots you have, basically, is what will create a smoother line. If there's a big gap between these, you just basically get harsher lines. Now, obviously, I could do this a lot better pixel by pixel, but it will take far too long to do it. This is like how things like super bit mapping, making digital sounds sound more like analog by adding more sample points. This is basically adding more sample points. So once we've done that, our t-shirt is all marked and you can see how many there are. There's a huge amount, which hopefully is going to give us a natural sort of feel to the material because it is material, you know, it's not a digital image. So we're going to go select path selection, feather radius. I don't want to do anything just on here. So I click OK and you can see now that it's, it's highlighted. Now, if I hit the delete button, I get rid of the t-shirt. Don't really want to do that. So what I need to do is to select inverse and you'll see the t-shirt and the whole border is selected. And that's because it's selecting the space in between the border and the t-shirt, AKA the background. So if I then do that, that gets rid of this. Do is go filter again, inverse. So just the t-shirt is selected and then click add layer mask. So then I've got this layer mask here. And what I can do by double clicking this is just tidy it up. So I'm gonna just smooth it around the edge, give it sort of like a, a four or five megapixels sort of feathering, increase the contrast on the edge. And these are just gonna just make it, you know, just a little bit more natural around the edges. And I think that's what, you know, is the whole strength towards an e-commerce image. So I think that actually on the feathering, probably too much. So maybe around about two to just make it a little bit more natural. Smoothing this to 10, click OK zoom back out and there you go my image is pretty much ready to go so from there i need to extract this file so very simply move up to the top export i can export as a jpeg or i can export as a png now for e-commerce i would recommend providing them with both and that just gives you real value for money as like a photographer that's working with these people say so here here's your image as a JPEG, here it is as a PNG, and then that way they can use it in the most versatile ways possible. So that really simply is how we get e-commerce images. And hopefully the walkthrough has been very easy to follow. If you've got any questions, do, do pop them down in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I will see you all next time, guys. Do not forget to subscribe. Take care.